It's one. I'm about the same age as your uh, son, Joe. Now, I wonder, I, I, I saw footage recently of you on the BBC in 1967 or something, defending long hair, yeah. which was wonderful. <laughs> now, I'm sure there must have been a moment... I defend it to this day. <laughs> Thank you. Um, there, there's, there must have been a moment with Joe growing up where you had a sort of, you must have had a sort of situation where he was a punker with green hair or whatever, yeah. and that you were put in that position, sort yeah. of. Yeah. No? Uh, Generation gap type of... Well, you know, it, it wasn't for, it wasn't ever for me. I mean, I, I wouldn't have cared when he was younger. I mean, he's his own man now, obviously, as he is your age. Um, but there was a point where I, I worried for him, you know, uh, uh, the, there was a, a point where he got a mohawk, you know, <laughs> and it was... It wasn't so much me that I... I mean, I'd go around with him whatever he looked like, you know, it was just that I know what gets thrown at you when you look different, you know, and I just... Maybe it was protective. But we never... We never had a... We never ever... I mean, I, I frankly, I just ended up keeping my mouth shut, you know, and I just thought, oh, look, he's going to go through it, he's going to have to go through it, you know, he'll decide. But so, <laughs> yeah. so he's always done what he—he's always been what he wants to be. Thank you very much.